16 and 8th edition. <clears throat> This way. And that's I2, and that is 30 amps. How do you know what my classroom was? That's all you have to tell you. So we're, they're asking for what is the net magnetic force acting on the loop. So the loop can move around. And this, this is my loop here. I guess it goes this way. <coughs> uh, where's my normal pointing? Into the page route. This, this field's gonna have it's gonna have this, this B field doing this all the way down, right? It's going around. And this one's gonna have this is also in the direction of the B field here. charges here. Which way is the wire going to move? Who cares about the magnitude for a second? Which way is the, this? If, if this wire is fixed in place, and this one's just move, floating around. Why don't you just move, like, right in this case? Or I mean, depending on where the fields are. But... So if this field is making that, and this field is making that. And if those are magnetic fields. They would attract each other? Yep. Why you say that? You had a question mark and you just 50% guessing. No, because I mean, I, like, sort of, but I think <laughs> the intuition is that, like, depending on the lines of force, uh, the, in, the in and the out symbol, I'm them yeah. like poles, basically, yeah. and the two magnets yeah, are touching each other. Yeah. That's it. 
Um, does it go straight to the left, or does it angle any direction at all? I wouldn't. I don't think it would angle at all. I think it would just combine like straight forward. That's right. Because the lines are the parallel. The lines are parallel. The parallel to the square. It's basic. Yeah. yeah. And to calculate that, um, all you have to do is this chunk of wire and this chunk of wire don't contribute anything to that motion, right? Because these fields are going kind of in this <coughs> direction, where these fields are going in this direction. So those two are orthogonal. Those two B fields are orthogonal. But these two, from, you know, this chunk of wire, sorry, I don't color your pencils, and this chunk of wire, those two do contribute. And this one's gonna push, and this one's gonna repel, but this one's a lot closer. And so the distance makes this a stronger force, and it's gonna pull it in. But if it was just a straight line, if this was two infinite lines going this way at 30 amps, they would be pulled together even harder, right? Because this side of the glue is pushing. But this is just pulling stronger, so it still moves. Questions? Peanut gallery? That's you. No? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, baby bird. Do you have to put the note Hmm? Do you have to put the No, I just want to see if you remember. Don't feel bad, I don't remember it. I have to repeat this before I teach it. Yeah, you 